Hello there everyone, it's King Hedgehog here and welcome to 7 Days to Die War of the Walkers mod which is uh, like Ravenhurst, just another overhaul with uh, many many things that have been changed here in the game. So first thing we need to do is uh, after looting this car, oh nice, a battery straight up and we need to put down our starter crate there, no not pick it up, we need to punch it to open it up and get everything that is inside. Thank you. And then we need to make ourselves a bedroll, which is going to be basically all the starter quests. Then we get here um, a quest to locate the trader. That's the note from the Duke. We can throw that away. Let's open this up. And that tells us that the trader is, I think, that way. Let's place down a bedroll so we can actually see it. There. Perfect. Then here. White Citizen, that's the one that gives us the trader. Indeed, it is 266 meters. That's not too far at all. And let's have a look. Did we get already any skill points? We have five already. And I'm going to go straight for parkour, um, agility level four. Perfect. And then when we get more skill points, I'm going to push up the agility tree straight away. All right, so initial weapon i want to start with the stone sledgehammer and that is basically because the stone sledgehammer is um, a very strong weapon especially in the beginning of any playthrough and the knives is what we already did in ravenhurst now i did stop on ravenhurst the reason being uh, ravenhurst 7.3 that's the new version um went into well the release notes have been sent for 7.3 and it's going to go into the experimental branch which means that the game has too many changes already since then plus it's still running on 19.2 which is the older version now let's get the first murder done oh nice the other thing i also did we are playing with full um default settings I have upped the um, Blood Moon Hordes to 24 zombies. Don't really want to play with more because more than 24 consecutive is just going to give us a ton of lag. And the other thing I did is I upped the XP Welcome multiplier to 200%. Don't guarantee a thing. You don't need to guarantee me anything, but it just give me a job which is not too far away. Um, actually, third supplies is... Mm. Um, 700 meters for a clear. Alright, I'll do the I'll do the barrier supplies. Sure. Thank you. Now let's have a look here at your compound. Some clay and some oil shale, or is it yeah. Oh, don't pick. That's always good to get. Of course the forge is destroyed, but just some broken glass. At least if we want to uh, end it all, we have an option too. Some acid, not great either. Thank God a customer. I thought you might be one of the dead. Ooh, Trader Bill. What do you have? Mmm. Another buried supplies. Thank you. I bet you wouldn't do this. What are you selling? Ooh. In the wasteland. Would you? Reward points, definitely. Another one. Perfect. Um, dog days are over, no. Nah. Fire Hunter, you not sure what it time. does. Let's read it. Go and kill some fire zombies. Sure. Anything particular about it or just any of them? Fire zombie bow, burnt, Darlene. All right, so we will complete that quest whenever. All right, do you have any jobs which are not too far? 400 meters, fetch. I guess this kind of makes sense. All right, what is it that you sell, actually? Oh, you sell recipes. All right. Just some working water in there. Nothing interesting and nothing else out here. All right. Now, did we get any other skill points? Yes, we did. Perfect. So we can level that up to level three. Very good. Then, of course, I'm going to level up Lucky Looter. All right, and you level three, which we have. All right, so the next time we level up, we can push both of those points into Lucky Looter, which will give us some fairly decent loot. Nice. Um, let me 
make a stone axe. Yeah, let's make a stone axe so we can actually pick that up, make ourselves a knife, just in case we murder any... If we murder any animals, then at least... Um... There, sit down. Perfect. All right, that is going straight into here, Lucky Looter. Two levels in there. Now, the other thing is we also got exactly the skill point reward cards, which is another three skill points. And that I'm going to put into Treasure Hunter. Here, one more level in there. And there, that should make that a lot easier. And you want that at Perception level five, which we can also do. And that is Perception level seven. Um, you are now going to take two points, right? Yes. Hmm. You want also perception level seven. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I could put two points in here. That one skull crusher is locked behind. Yeah, fire class. All right. So stone axe should be ready. Perfect. Now that allows me to make a bone shift. Not yet because I need five bones. All right, all right. Oh, we have a crawler. Towards it. Let's search the cars on the way and then actually make our way towards um, the buried supplies. We need to make ourselves a stone shovel as well. Because I'm not sure, but I don't think that we found one. No. Scrap iron shovel, which is great, but for that we need to unlock it and that needs to be player level 25. A lot of it here is player level locked. That's why I have the XP multiplier at 200%. Wooden club. Nah. Can't search you. All right. So I do see the box up there. Let's go and get that one. And then let's go and get ourselves the buried supplies. General supplies. Nah. Would have been nicer if it would have been a weapons crate, but sure. Ooh. Well, that is good. At least we got that. Here, we can replace you with that. So we can scrap you and repair you. Look at that. We already have a stone shovel. Don't even have to make it. I can scrap you because I'm not going to use you. Then we have the stone pick. We also have a scrap iron pickaxe, which is better. So let's scrap all of these. Let's read the treasure map. Weapon supplies. All right, all right. So how we look in inventory wise not too bad mm, i mean i've got a couple of things on me i can throw away in case i need the inventory space all right now let's go and get ourselves that buried supplies which shouldn't be too difficult to get dig up anymore not because we're doing the extra damage we need to put some points as well into minor 69 which is again going to be here into strength all right, so let's put that in there. So we do a little bit more block damage. That's the thing I do like about War of the Walkers, that we get the two skill points per level, so we get to level up uh, all the basic attributes relatively fast. All right, oh, it's right here. Chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Get over here. Thank you. Now, I made myself... No bone shiv yet because didn't have enough bones for it. Now I do. Dear recipes, bone shiv, yes, please. And we need to find ourselves a place to live as well because we don't have that yet either. All right, bone shiv. Let's cut up the rest of the chicken. Ah. After Ravenhurst, after the knife being so slow, this is just heaven. All right, now my buried supplies were right about here. All right, let's get to digging. Oh, there's another supplies crate up there. So on the way out, we definitely need to pick that up. Now I'm here just digging away on the top soil because right underneath it is straight going to bedrock. There, that is already bedrock. So let's stick to this and then let's hopefully zoom in. Again, one more block, I think. Did 
There it is. Perfect. All right, so now sledgy for the ready. Barrett food stash. We read you and we take you. All right, who's coming for us? Oh, there's quite a few of them, actually. Oh, there's another one up there. So we have one up there and one up there to go and pick up. Now, we need the stamina. That's the only thing at the beginning of the game. Oh, nice. Okay, two more. Lewis and Charlie. Uh, Lewis and Owen. Wow. Death by Stone Axe. Alright, so let's first go and pick up this one. Oh, we have a hoodie over there. So let's get the sledgy in hand. And let's not run, but let's just walk. Oi! Oh, nice. Oh, another chicken. And a nursery lamb. Ninja chicken. Bastard. You also get those deaths by pick with stone axe. What do you have? Food and drink supply. Actually, that one is very much welcome because especially early game, I'm always... Well, that wasn't really worth it, but sure. All right, so we've got a fairly interesting place right up here. Then let's have a look. A number of cars. Vending machine right up there. Urgent care popping pills. Nice. Oh, this is a nice place. I see tons of crates up there. <laughs> Sit down and stay down. All right, now there was another one up here. Oh, we went way too far. All right, so let's pick this one up and then let's have a look where the other buried supplies is going to be. Please be a weapons crate, though. Weapons. And other food and drinks. I mean, again, can't be upset about the food and drinks crates. All right. Mm hmm. Oh, hello, Owen. I didn't see you there, buddy. All right, so you down. That is locked. Um, I don't have any wood frames now, do I? So let's get ourselves... Let's start with 15 for a change. Then we put these ones on the ramp. Yes. Perfect. Now, can I break this glass without them waking up? Yes, I can. All right. How many stone arrows do I have? Absolutely none. How many can I make? 22. Oh, nice. And then for you... There we have Lewis. Also down for the count. See, and I didn't even invest any points into either of them yet. Oh. That one I might want to do from the outside from the window. As that one. Let's just slowly sneak our way through and that one is locked all right so let's see if we can get these ones done from out here
All right, so I can kneel down. Can I break that without him waking up? No, I couldn't. All right. Well, you bang away on that. Well, in that case, I might as well just walk in and deal with them as such. No. I'm a little low on stamina, buddy. Yeah, that's the creepy guy with the long hands. Alright, so here we've got a pickaxe, which is going to help out because there's a briefcase under there. Now, those briefcases are hit and miss. Sometimes they are absolutely amazing and sometimes they are absolutely useless, like that one. There's another one in here. Alright, so this one we can wear, boots we can wear because we're not wearing anything yet. I'm not sure what we have in here actually. I think I hear someone. I think I heard someone. Let's get back in here. Let's get this door open. Alright, just a trash can with nothing in there. Think with a bread recipe. Alright. Oh, there with nothing on there. All right, now let's make the round here. A cotton recipe. Let's read that straight away so we don't keep it in our inventory. I'm still itchy to get rid of the cornmeal, but let's keep that because I think it is going to be pretty useful here. Can I sneak here in between? Yes, I can. Oh, blunderbuss. Nice. All right. Range, please. No. Boiled meat recipe, blueberry seed recipe. Well, thank you. All right, now let's pick up the outdoor chairs. Do they sell? 20 bucks. Well, that's not bad. How about you? No short iron pipe, some cat food. All right, now I had you. Not yet. A single lockpick. Got some brass in here, multi backpack. And some pears. All right. So that was the stuff in there. Let's now turn these ones back into regular blocks. And let's see what we find on the roof. Because I think I saw a nice stack of crates up there. Yes. All right. Abandoned rubbish. Nice. Nice. Any of you. That is a hidden stash. That is a hidden stash. As is that. Wow. Um, this isn't. And that isn't. Alright. But hey. I'm not complaining there. Alright. Let's open these ones up first. Another AC vent. Oh, we had a number of those already. Washing machine. With nothing in it. All right, hidden stash time. Okay, some basic ammo, nothing interesting though. Another primitive bow tier two, which we already have. Here to sledgy. I'm not saying no to that. Um, scrap iron boots. I'll take them to sell because I have no intention of wearing heavy armor. At least not today. Mm, 
metal handle and a scrap iron axe. All right, now the scrap iron axe, I will say thank you. All right, now I think that that was it. All right, now let's have a look because we had another bear supplies, right? Um, actually, it was exactly the other way. Where is this one going to take me? 200 meters that way. Well, if we're nearly there anyways, might as well make use of it. Oi, buddy, come over here. I need to do some murder. Murder is always good. Oof, that was a waste of stamina. Come at me slowly. Oh, that was just plain rude. Alright, so cars do respawn here in this mod, which means I can actually use my pick and take them apart. And I'm not going to get max resources for it, but everything I get, I get. There you go. Perfect. All right, now let's get whatever is in here. Some more acid, some more um, brass pennies. Brass pennies are always good to have. Now let's destroy this car as well so it can respawn. All right. 140 odd meters that way. Mm-mm. Now, I don't know what is going to be in there. Oh, well, at least I see um, a workbench. I see a bus. There's a truck out there. We have a book here, Bar Bar Brawling Volume 2. Sprinting power attacks have a high chance of knocking down your opponent. Still not sure if that's just for brawling or anything else as well. Oi, Gossip Girl. I would like to put an arrow through your head, but... Well, that wasn't exactly your head, but... At least that takes care of you. All right, now let's uh, stick our nose in here. Mm, tier 2 stone axe. Can scrap that. Don't really need it. Nothing else really to search in here. All right, let's get the mailbox empty. And... Well, we start this quest on the other side. Okay, time to um, do some gardening and model on. There you go. Look at that. Very nice and fast. All right, up the trailers. It's a police car now. And we have four skill points to spend. Which is always good. Let's do that right away. Um, Lucky Looter wants it at volumes uh, at level 7. So that is two and four points. Mm. I think though. I'm going to be putting one point in here and two in there. Now, Skull Crusher is the one with sledgehammers. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, I'm even better with my sledgey now. All right. Oh, 
Okay, well, that was not too bad. Cooking pot, let's pick you up. Just making sure that you actually are a cooking pot instead of... Ah, oh, wrench, nice. Instead of trying to make me go boom. Oh, briefcase. Steroids, don't care for the steroids. Cooking grill, sweet. So now it is actually worth it to go and murder chicken. Alright, what did we get? Some carrot seeds, nice. Sorry buddy, I didn't see you there. I mean, I thought you were trash, honestly. Not because I want to talk down on you, but I honestly thought that you were trash. Alright, backpack, nothing there. Another backpack, more empty jars. Um... Going outside, I always feel... Um, is that comfortable? Not sure. Um, oi. Thank you for looking over my package. I'll take it from here. All right. Oil recipe, bicycle handlebars recipe, BDU, BDO, BDU. Okay, we'll wear that, which is going to be good for us. Um, I'll wear none of that. All right, and I think that that is the loot room. And we're going to have to break out these half blocks. Which is going to give us a little bit of wood, so it's not too bad. Tough guy sunglasses, 42 plus 1. I'll take it. Not wearing anything at the moment. <laughs> Perception plus 1. Um, Alright, I'll take that instead. Oh, is this the place? Oh, yes. Okay, so we've got somebody coming for us. Let me repair you. He's right up there. Oi. Alright, that's it. Advanced muffler connectors, which is always good. Some shady boxes. Uh, some shady rituals going on here. Sure, a reinforced chest. What do you have? Scrap you, scrap you. We can actually wear you. Yep, we can wear you. Let's take that. And let's open up the shipway food factory box. Uh, for water and paper. Sure. Alright, nothing else back there. Here we have a backpack with some honey. Very nice. And I don't think there's anything else. Nope, that goes outside. All right. Well. Since that's it, did we search the toilet? No, we didn't. Somewhere murky water. Thank you. All right, how we're looking. I didn't spend all my points. No, I didn't. Um, I do have the extra level here now, which is good. So I can push that in there and have max lucky looter. Have max treasure hunter. Wow. All right, so next thing is going to go here for agility. We need to get that up to level 8. So that is 4 more points going right in there. And I again see the chicken. Get over here you stupid bastard. There. So now we have dinner. Beautiful. Alright. Quickly checking their mail. See? What was he subscribed to? I'm not sure. We'll check in a moment. Ooh. Well, he ordered uh, the Iron Armor schematic, which is always good. Night Stalker, of course. Um, Meld into the shadows and sneak 5% better at night. Well, thank you. 
Alrighty, now it is 6 p.m. What do we have left on our to-do lists? Um, where are you on the map? Mm -mm -mm. I mean, you're halfway on the way down anyways. So might as well quickly go there. We just walk through here, that's okay. And um, pick up the berry supplies and then make our way back towards the trader. On the way though, let's quickly pick these up. Only two apples. Oh well. Mushrooms, always good to pick up. Really starting to pick up all the food here in the wild. Um, I think I'm just going to do that by night actually because it is first of all faster and uses less stamina. Alright, now let me head a oh, ho oh, oh, ho nope. In case you're wondering what I said no to, it's right up there. A wolfie. And as much as I like wolfies, well I like dogs, I don't like wolfies. Much as I like a dog, um Thanks but no thanks. Oh, Oh, two of them right next to each other. Now we have to find one of weapons, right? Another food and drinks. I mean, I'm not complaining. I will just... Well, let's eat you because we're hungry. I would just really like to get some weapons. Weapons day three supply. Beautiful. Vulture. Come on, really? Some iron arrows and an idiot. Who walks on the spikes? Fuck off, lady. I have no time to deal with you. None whatsoever. Alright, business boy Bob over there. Now, it looks like we're going into another part of town. Or maybe it's the same town. Or maybe it's a different one. Um, This is the bunker house, isn't it? No, it's not the bunker house. This is... Um, Well, this is Glock 9's house for his current series. The Nightmare series. Alright. I'm thirsty. I also have something to fix that. There you go. No more thirsty, no more hungry. How far we have to go? Just a few more meters. All right. Oh, that has some uh, decent loot. Not too difficult to get to. All right. Let's do the digging thing. And with the treasure hunter now all the way to the max, I think we should actually get every three blocks that we shrink to a circle. Yep. Is it right there? All right, so there we have it now. Let's first, um, we'll eat the cat food. We'll drink some boiled water. Any other foods on us? Yes, we have another lamb rations. Sure, we'll eat it. Just want to make sure that we have our food and drink up enough. And that we're not going to be uh, weighed down by that. All right, so you go here. Let's shuffle this around a little bit. There, now can I reach? Alright, who's coming for us and where are you coming from? Couple of Lewises. That is one down. And she's pooping out an egg. Alright. Ooh. That's a decent chunk of cash you had on you, dear. Alright, now I think that that is it, so let's go and head towards um, our good friend, the trader. Obviously murdering whoever is on our way. And then we need to find ourselves a house, and I think I want to live up there in that tower. I mean, it's not going to take too much effort for us to get in there. Except for, I believe, one stupid vulture. 
and then we can make ourselves some uh, chests and I think we're pretty much set. I mean, we had a pretty decent uh, first day. Got three quests knocked out of the way, which is always a good thing. Uh, we have a farm right next to us then. That's also good. Shotgun Messiah factory here. Shamway food factory right next to it. Not bad. All right, let's peek our nose in here. Let's see what we're going to get. Probably not nothing useful. Money in here, are you? Um, do we have any skill points? No, we don't. Um, all right. Thank you very much. Do you have any other jobs which are not too far away? No, you don't. What do you actually have in your inventory? Because we didn't even have a look at that yet. So you have um, Art of Mining Volume 2. Diamond tip mods. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so nothing too interesting right there. That one, definitely. Lanterns is always one of the first books I'm after. Thanks, buddy. Yep, you're more than welcome, buddy. All right, let's get up here. Let's turn in the other two quests as well. You see, friend, you did it. Great um, job, sniper Trevor. volume or first aid kit. Damn. No, I have to go for the book. Because otherwise you will see that we're not going to find that book until Christmas next year again. I will come back again tomorrow for new quests from you. And from you we will take that. Alright. Um, workbench schematic. Mm, meat steel. Mm. Come back tomorrow. We get new Now do you have any daily. other jobs which were not too far away? You have 450 meters buried supplies and clear zombies. I could I'll take the buried supplies. Brilliant. I guess this kind of makes us friends now. Oh, well, let's be a little bit more careful who we call a friend straight away. All right, let's uh, empty out his vending machine for whatever is worth in there. Um, dog food we buy. Adam Junkies. Mm, I don't really have any idea yet for um, Horde Base. How much coin we have? Uh, still have 2,000. That's okay. Let's buy you and you. Mossy Brew. Mm, how about not? Thanks. All right. Then the Amagon funeral was right up there. Either that or I want to go on top of the high school. Now, I think it is better to be on top of the, um, the funeral center for now. We'll move to one of the others or maybe we'll build our own base. I'm not sure yet. Now we are a little bit encumbered. him taken down of course the bastard had to disappear downstairs all right we close you and then we can open this up and then we have ourselves a place to live bang all right medium ammo pile all right another sealed shipping crate which is great because that's another hidden flash couple of boxing gloves Tier five already though. All right, let's. Um, where are you? Perfect. Alrighty, now we can make ourselves um, a small storage chest. Let's get that out. So at least we are no longer encumbered. Dear on face, please. There. All right, now we can read you. Read you. Then. Put that, we'll take that in our inventory, in the tool belt, please. All right. There we have nightfall. Now let's get all the food and drinks in here. Because we have quite a bit of it already. Look at that first chest, over half full with just food and drinks. All right, now first aid and candies go in there as well. 
um, any other first aid items. We've got the roids in there. And I think that's pretty much it. Mm hmm. All right. Then we have our bedroll, which we can only put down right there. And then what is the next thing that we need? Let's make ourselves another storage chest for raw materials. And then another one for sellables. There. All right. And then let's get all the raw materials in there. Parts and all that. Wow. I mean, we already have a lot of junk on us. All the parts can go in there. You actually go with first aid. You are sellables. Didn't even see that we picked up a wheel. All right. I need five of those so I can make a campfire. There we have a grill. We have cooking pots. Perfect. All right, now you are going to go on face and wide right about there. You're going to be our sellables box, so you get the cash, you get all the pennies, because we'll sell all of that for now. Coin can go in there. Perfect. Now look at that, so we can scrap you. You are going to take all the mods and ammo that we're currently not using. And look at that. Now, last thing I'm going to do for this episode is I'm going to take this block out so we can actually chuck down our land claim. Perfect. Now, there you have it. Okay, guys, now that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button. And then I'll see you guys right back here for more 7 Days to Die War of the Walkers, day number 2.